And because my blood pressure wasn't so high enough, I think we're back into that Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 camera. And it's basically a camera that is in a tablet, of course. And uh, guess what? There's one warning I have to say there in this video. One warning, okay? This could possibly be the stinkiest and dirtiest of all three flat toy views that we might encounter. And yes, I can tell you what, here we have three of these flip flap products right there. And uh, it sort of looks amazing indeed. I don't know how good or bad it is, but the first product we might take a look at is this product here. So we've got the black headed girls versus lesser black back girls, dual and tan, um, what is it called again, equals 12 pack. So that's what it's called, a black headed girls versus lesser black back girls, Dual and 10 and 12 pack equals 12 pack. That's what I'm saying there. Yeah? It's a British Wildlife Collection toy. It has a price of £15.98. It's a, um, a Generation 82 toy, as you can see. And it's not that bad. But there's the instructions there on how to flap the bird via the anatomy there. Looks like these black headed girls are really ticked off by that lesser black back girl. Which to me, they find it very grotesque by the looks of it because this bird here is basically the major predator via the other birds. And uh, these sort of birds, they are scavengers as we all know and love. And um, yes, they sort of look amazing indeed. And also, <gasps> look at that! Oh, look at that! That is basically so, so cute. Remember I did the video which talked about the brown-headed girl? Look at that. It's... I don't know what I'm saying, but this is basically the same and I'd also identical size. This is also sort of similar. I mean, just look at the way it flaps. Sort of a cute-looking girl. Let me take a look at the other one here. Yeah, it's sort of weird. They don't have names and stuff like that, of course. And uh, before I start to basically move on, I'm actually just going to probably find off something that's actually going to make this be very stinky. And just in case my toy view, um, because I, it's basically winter time in the UK, I've got these boxes of tissue there if I'm basically in severe coldness. And I tell you what, these things really do help me in the winter. Actually, I'm just going to grab a tissue there. I don't know why I just blow absolutely freaking so hard in those bloody reviews. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I feel like I'm just going to probably shut down my YouTube channel. But anyways, I'm not going to. Because we're going to keep on talking about what's right there. Here's another one of these. They're all in angry expressions, and yes, they're all angry birds because of the way they're sort of being detailed. And um, they don't look too bad. And uh, they've sort of got the same design, I suppose, the same detailing, of course. That's another word I'm using. And uh, what is sort of baffling is, is they should have just taken out um, just a bit of brown, a lot of brown on neck, on the on the neck area there. And should have just kept it on the head there. And I think it's, I think it's something to do with realism. It's not that sort of realistic to me. It's just not realistic enough. Maybe I should make another product, which has this sort of influence, of course. But nevertheless, very nice indeed. We will take a look at the lesser black black girls. Sort of quite big. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! It is slight grey. Can you believe that? That is actually sort of a very realistic lesser black back girl. It looks very, very awesome. Apart from the eyes, of course, which they don't look realistic, of course. Um, they sort of look amazing indeed. I'm going to look at the black wing tips there as well. Yes, it's sort of nice to see these lesser black back girls with the black headed girls there. I bet the lesser black back girl is basically a major predator of the black headed girl, of course, since. I know they're girls, but they likely kill each other because of probably to do the breed. I think they kill them during the breeding season, not so much in the um, the non-breeding season or the roosting season, which happens around let's say around midsummer to around late winter, perhaps or early spring. And uh, the next part I was going to take a look at this one here, eight pounds ninety-seven, probably one of the blandest flip-flop toy views there. It's the Mediterranean Spain Sparrows 5-pack, so we're going to go ahead towards Spain. It's sort of a bit of a very interesting product, but it's based on the, um, the Spanish Sparrow and not the House Sparrow. And it's a sexual dimorphic product, meaning you've got two of these birds, which have basically a male and a female, but you've got two different variations of colour. So it's a bit like that sort of 
well, peacock colorization. It's like the, um, it's like what they do with peacocks, sexual dimorphism, and uh, pheasants, of course, and possibly ducks as well, like the mallard. Eight pounds ninety-seven or nine pounds, of course. Yeah, look at that. That's the male there. Beautiful red cap, and there's also a female there, which looks sort of dull, but, um, yeah, so sort of like a, a copycat, or something, I wouldn't be so, so abrasive, or abrasive to the world, but these Spanish sparrows are a bit like a caricature of that of a house sparrow that we have in the UK, and there's also the tree sparrow that we actually get in the UK, and I think I've actually seen a tree sparrow. When I was on holiday in Malaysia, in fact, I actually saw loads of tree sparrows in Malaysia, but I didn't see that many in the UK because the tree sparrow population in the UK has been declining uh, rapidly, sadly. Not so much as the, um, the how. I'm not sure what I'm saying. It could be the house sparrow. Yeah, I was actually saying the word house sparrow, and um, these sort of birds, they don't look too bad. The males look like that. They've got this sort of resemblance to that of the Pokemon Pidgey. Which is not so surprising to me. You know, the feet on the females are orange, whereas the feet on the males are brown. So it's sort of amazing indeed. And um, yeah, let's take a look at this one here. It looks sort of nice as well. The males, I, I think uh, they're actually quite poor standards. As you can see, their legs, they just sort of don't do it for me. But there's something a bit bloody right there. Look at that. I'm not sure what I'm saying, but there's actually a bit of blood right there on the cap there. Maybe this video will actually be demonetized in the future if you actually encounter blood on this toy here. But nevertheless, there you go, it's in high quality mode here. Yeah, it's sort of a very, very interesting bird, eh? Anyways, I think that's probably about it, and uh, guess what? This video is in high quality now. And maybe to be a lot more prudent, as I would literally be on YouTube, I'm going to put away these birds there, and uh, ludicrously enough, they're not really realistic birds. They're just paper origami birds, in a sense. we will just be packing these. There you go. Yes, the Mediterranean Spain Sparrows 5-pack. Pretty interesting, but bland at the same time. Well, yes, let's take a look at our last, but by no means product. Actually, I meant product, sorry. <laughs> not product. Actually, I mean product, as I'm saying. £20. It's a European Vultures versus Chicken Leg 12 pack. And before I start to continue, I think I'm starting to probably think there's something really, really stinky right behind me. And yes, as I actually, before I start to make flip-flap toys, I'm just going to probably, um, oh my god. <coughs> oh crap, I've just literally just blown my freaking nose. And oh my god, look at all the trash that's inside this bag. Oh my, oh my goodness me, this is absolutely dirty, man. Oh my god, I'm just feeling like this is absolutely difficult. Oh man, this absolutely reeks. Ah! Oh god, I can tell you what, guys. I, I don't know how goddamn nasty this is, but I can tell you what, guys. I'm just placing all that trash right into the bin there. And I gotta tell you what, maybe at the end of this video, I'm have to wash my hands because this whole rubbish... This whole goddamn rubbish thingy Bob do that. I can tell you what, in this video, I'm not sure what I'm saying, but the rubbish inside this trash can now, it's inside there, and I can tell you what, it stinks! In fact, I actually grab another tissue here. <gasps> God dang it! So much goddamn sneezing! God. There you go. Right into the tissue. Pen, I call it. And, um, yep. That bin right there, from the Jack of the Union, has been devoured. Well, sorry for my very cruddy talking in this video there, but this is the European Vultures vs Chicken Leg 12 pack. And this is basically the similar sequel to basically what we had with the Bone Napper Dragon and the Vultures that we had. Like, you know, the, the Bone Picker Vulture and the, the Rapture, of course, or the Raven Vulture, I like to call it. And uh, this is basically a very sort of realistic set there. You get one Black Sinnerous Vulture there, or the European Black Vulture. I think this is basically one of the largest of all raptor birds of prey in the world. Or actually, more like Europe, of course. 
There are ten nameless griffin vultures, which looks pretty amazing indeed. And there's one chicken leg, and it's perfect for roadside scenery. Probably it's because vultures are associated with being a scavenger, and they're also perfectly seen when an animal is being killed. Yep. Eating an animal which has been already been killed by a car or any vehicle, and it's based on real European vulture species. Let's take a look! And before we can dive into this packaging right there, there's actually this reading here, it says, CAUTION! THIS TOY MAY STINK! Well, let's see if it does stink or not. Well, yes, I'm just gonna come in and do the unpacking out. You know, what's sort of amazing is, uh, vultures, like seagulls, they are scavengers. In fact, my Flip Out Toy Views have been really successful when it comes into featuring animals or birds which are considered scavengers. I think the other animals I think are pigs, which are true scavengers there. But here are all the griffin vultures there. They sort of look nice. Hang on, this one there looks like its eyes must have been... Oh my god, look at that freaking eye of a vulture here. Looks like it's been freaking corrupted by some sort of... I don't know. It's just weird, isn't it? It's got black feet, but some of the beaks, the hook beaks, can be grey or black. Um, I don't know if I could literally just set them all up. Okay, I think I've got one of these vultures there. One of the griffin vultures has been standing, of course. Let's try the other one there. It's so, so sort of difficult to get these vultures standing intact. And um, most of the vultures... Oh, god damn it! Some of the vultures have just goddamn four! It's just fallen into the, the floor of hell. Or into the floor of nowhere. God damn it. Why am I doing flip out toy views now? Well, what's missing is on the product there is that the feet or the legs there, they're actually pretty poseable. So you can actually make all sorts of poses there. Some of these don't. Oh, look at that. That's the chicken leg. What? Oh, yes. Guess what? Who's having KFC tonight? Not me, but I'm having a whole chicken. Oh my goodness me, with herbs and spices. I actually had that with my dumplings, of course. Looks pretty nice, isn't it? And, um, it sort of looks very nice. There's, there's the, the griffin vulture there. In fact, we've got 11 of these, actually 10 of the griffin vultures there. Maybe a good scenery would be more like this. Because I think the vultures are always attracted to, basically, meat, which has already been predated by another animal. And yes... It sort of looks amazing indeed. Look at that. These vultures are just gazing. In fact, they're all controlled by the hand of God. All controlled. I mean, look at that. They're all being... Well, most of the vultures are basically being motivated by this great big piece of KFC. Crap, what are I going to call it? But look at this one here. Look at this big black beauty here. This is a great big sinuous black vulture there. I mean, look at that. This is basically a great big vulture here. It's possibly the largest bird in Europe. Actually, the largest bird of prey in Europe. And yes, look at the size of this thing. And if I give you a size comparison ship to that of a, um, of a griffin vulture there, look how tall is this. There's actually sort of back in here. I might have to make another one of these griffin vultures there because it's sort of not tall enough. So I have to make another one here just to get the height in a very correct... Oh yeah, I, I suppose I must have made a mistake or some sort. But nevertheless, to be honest, it looks pretty amazing. And I think uh, the vulture crew are pretty amazing. But this black vulture here is probably the most decisive. Because this is the one that actually gives out the orders. And yes, look at that. This black vulture here tries to probably go ahead and just murder... Well, try and ward off most of the griffin vultures. And look at that. He's literally shoving them up. <laughs> Nobody messes with the great big black sinners vulture! Ah! Oh, straight in the camera! And what I might do is I probably might probably smell one of the... Oh, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm actually just going to smell one of these um, griffin vultures there. And uh, let me have a sniff. Yeah. Oh my god, crap! It stinks so badly! Let me try and do another one here. I've got the black one here. I'm, I could tell you what, I'm trying to smell it. Ew. Oh my goodness me, I don't know how stinky they are. Uh, try the chicken, I suppose. 
Oh, that's not too bad. I uh, dare say the vultures. Let me try and sniff again. Let me try and do a bit of a feedback. Uh, not too stinky. Let me try the legs. Oh, God dang it. I tell you what. Oh, God, I can tell you what, guys. This is probably the dirtiest of all. Oh, my God. I'm actually just going to repack all of these goddamn vultures there. And, oh, my goodness me. Whenever I see a vulture, I easily get motivated because these guys... Oh my god, they're absolutely putrid, and I can tell you what guys, they're absolutely rancid, but I love them because I actually love the fact they are long necked, and not just that, they're also one of the true scavengers on earth in the bird family, in fact crows, seagulls, possibly pigeons, uh, probably waterfowl perhaps, uh, I can tell you what guys, eh? uh, probably the coots and moorhens, and um, I don't know what I'm saying, but possibly animals who love to eat food which has been left over, perhaps, maybe they're scavengers, but that's always not the case because um, if you're a scavenger, you're likely to eat food which has been eaten by another animal, which is basically a predator, a dead animal, perhaps. But anyways, that's probably about it, and i got to tell you what, guys, that has been one of the goodest toy views I ever have been. But yes, I was saying it in a very nice way, and yes, I might do my greetings and salutations there for the first time, because I don't know if I could make a greetings and salutations uh, video part into this, because I'm sort of thinking I could guess um, my voice is alright, and um, yes, this is only just the first time I'm doing it. I'm just sort of glad that uh, I guess I was only trying to entertain some people there, but what I was doing is, the way I'm actually trying to encourage people to watch YouTube is the way I sound like. Anyways, I think I have enough of all that putridness that we see in this video there. Mind you, I'm actually just going to let you guys subscribe and give a like in this video. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.